Pro Football Hall of Famer Mike Ditka joining us now. Mike, how will you remember Don Shula and his impact on the NFL? Well, you know, he was a, he was a good friend, first of all. I want to say that he was a, he was a hell of a man. He, uh, he really, you know, besides the records he set and, and as good a coach as he was, I think you find out how, how good he was if he talked to his players. I think uh, he he was just uh, he was special with his players, and they went out and they played for him, and they, there's nothing they believed that they couldn't do for him. And uh, you know the Dolphins, uh, Dolphins were pretty special. You know we were a pretty good football team the year uh, they beat us, and uh, and they beat us. I mean it wasn't a fluke. Uh, oh, let, let's go to that game. Uh, the 72 Dolphins, we know they went undefeated. Your 85 Bears came pretty close. The only loss that season came against Shula and, 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 and Dan Marino. Uh, what do you remember about that game? I didn't like it. I, don't, I remember it was, it was so fun. Do you remember that? But, uh, no, it was, uh, you know, it, it, it happens. I mean, and I really think things are meant to be. Uh, I think probably... Uh, when we look at the coaching annuals in this country, I think uh, she's going to talk about one coach that might go down as one of the all-time greatest along with. I mean, there, there, there are a lot of them, don't get me wrong. But uh, he certainly, in my opinion, is, is as good as any coach uh, the coach in the National Football League ever. All right, let's go from uh, coach versus coach to uh, coach versus player. You played for the Cowboys in the early 70s. You, you beat Don Shula and the Dolphins in Super Bowl VI, then lost to that unbeaten team uh, in Super Bowl VII. What was it like playing against those Dolphins teams? Well, they were, you know, first of all, you got to understand, you're not playing the coach. He's coaching the team, but they, they, they put together a good team. They had a lot of good players, and they got after you. They, they, were, uh, you know, they weren't one of a finesse team like people thought. When they had Zonka and those guys, they pounded the football. They ran it right down your throat. So, no, they, uh, they they played hard in those football. They could play any way you wanted to play. You wanted to get in the trenches, they get in the trenches. You wanted to air it out, they could air it out. Before coming to Miami, the Colts had hired Don Shula as the then youngest NFL head coach. He was 33 years old. They were the team that lost to Joe Namath's underdog Jets in Super Bowl three. It was an embarrassing loss for the conference, and at that time, Shula had a reputation as a coach who thrived during the regular season but couldn't win the big games. What changed all of that? Well, I think the only thing that can change is players. I really don't. I think, you know, it, uh, I don't believe in that, but uh, it, there's a lot of people who do. You can't win the big one, but uh, you got to get to the big one before you can win it, and he got to a lot of them. So I would say that uh, I, I, I just think at that point you don't have the, people, the right people in the right places. And uh, you weren't good enough to win them. And, you, you know, but once they got good enough to win them, they wanted to share them, that's for sure. Uh, you, you guys are friends. Uh, any any good behind-the-scenes stories you can share about Coach Shula? I don't know. Basically, if there's everything I do, it's just based on respect. You know, I, I, uh, you know I'm you 80 years old now. He's 90. I mean, he was older than me. But uh, I just had so much respect for the coaches uh, in the league and the coaches that came before me, uh, you know, I played for Hallis and I played for Landry. And, then, you know, so, I mean, I played for two of the greatest in the history of the game. And Coach Shula was right there, whether he's the greatest or, or the second greatest or third, I don't know. But he, he certainly was a hell of a guy. And uh, he uh, it was loved by a lot of people. And I was one of the guys who not only coached against him, played against him, but I respected him and I loved him. Coach Dicker, we appreciate your time and, and, and sharing the memories. Thank you so much for joining us here. Thank you. God bless.